Welcome back to another video. Uh, you might be able to tell, but I've got a severe case of man flu, like a severe case of man flu. I'm not going to dwell on that though. Over the last few days or the last couple of days, I've been down in Devon, which is like 250 miles south of where I live here. It was just a small team get together where we, you know, I got to meet the, the other guys on the team uh, and go out on some rides with them and stuff and just, I don't know, just a way to get to know everyone. Um, because I was like kind of meeting people for the first time, I didn't really film a whole, a whole lot of stuff. But what I thought I would do is sit here right now and kind of talk you through the process of the weekend and, and what went down and what happened and narrating the stuff that I did film. So it all started at quarter past four on Wednesday morning. Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. It's still dark outside, hence why I'm starting today's video inside. It's currently half past six. I've been driving since five o'clock this morning. I'm one hour 30 into a, about a five hour drive. I've got to drive 270 miles down south to uh, to Devon. Over the next couple of days, my new team, St. Perrin, is having like a team get together, a team bonding session, where we kind of just get to know each other and go, go out on some rides. Hopefully it should be a fun and exciting couple of days. So I'm gonna take this coffee now and, uh, and crack on with the journey and try and get there and beat all the traffic. Five hours of driving is long enough. I don't really want to be getting stuck in any more traffic than I need to. But just look at this, one hour 30 driving already. One hour 30 and it's still pitch black. And it still feels to me like it's the middle of the night. Coffee number two of the day and it's not even 9.30 yet. I'm about four hours into the journey this morning, got one hour left to go. The roads have been absolutely treacherous. We had some bad snow around the Midlands area, but luckily it's uh, cleared up as I've gone further south. All right, so five hours of driving later, I've arrived at my destination. This is where we're gonna be staying for the next day or two. However, I'm the first one here and there's an electric gate and a key code and I don't know the code. So I'm gonna have to wait here for a minute, let everyone else arrive, and then we can uh, then I can get in. We are staying in a small town called Newton Abbott, which is in Devon. It is directly five hours south of where I live. So yeah, I'm a pretty long way from home right now. The rest of the guys should be arriving within the next 20 or 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here and chill for a bit. So by the time everyone had arrived from their destinations, it was around uh, 12.30. And as you all know, the sunset at this time of the year is around 3.30, which didn't give us a whole lot of time to, to head out on the bikes. I didn't bring the camera with me because we were in a little bit of a rush to get out on the bike, but we went out on the bike and did two, just over two hours, just nice and steady after all the traveling. We got home from that ride, uh, got a change of clothes, and then went out to get some food with, with the rest of the lads. And that was pretty much it for the first day. Now the second day is when we were doing the proper ride. So we woke up around eight o'clock to get out at a decent time but the, like it was really icy the temperature at the minute just fluctuates that much uh, and and on that particular day it was like minus one there was loads of ice outside so we had to leave it for a couple of hours before we could actually get out on the bike but the plan was to do like a well-known or classic fame well, not really famous but like a well-known route around devon it's called like the dartmoor loop it's a lap of of dartmoor we didn't actually go over the dartmoor because it was like obviously it was so cold and there would just be a whole load of ice over the top of the climbs apparently at this time of the year you just don't bother going over the top of Dartmoor. But basically the plan was to do a lap of Dartmoor. It's like a 100 mile loop, loads of climbs, a pretty savage day out. And this is what happened. I believe we're gonna do like a lap of Dartmoor, which is quite uh, quite a popular like long ride around here, around Devon. I'm not really sure, this is the first time I've ridden down here. All I know is it's freezing cold. There's ice on the road this morning, so we've got to take it easy. But so far, so far so good. Local lad Alex, talk to us a bit about today's route. Where are we going? Today we've done a lap of Dartmoor, yeah. which is a favourite of anyone from Devon. Yeah. Because basically it's grippy all day long, up and down. And yeah, it's filthy like, day. It's filthy, filthy day. How is riding in general around here? What does it look like? Is it decent? Uh, best in the country. You reckon? Always warm. Better than Lancashire? Yeah, no snow. <laughs> Always warm. Wait, there's snow today on the top? Yeah, but not like, not like real snow that you guys have. <laughs> I'm 
trying to keep speaking to a minimum on today's ride. My throat is absolutely killing me. I feel like I'm coming down with a cold or something. It's not great. So as I just mentioned there, I was really starting to struggle with this cold man flu. I don't know, thing that I've got and trying to ride like 100 miles, a hilly 100 miles and film a vlog at the same time was proving quite difficult. But yeah, either way, uh, because we set off late like that particular day, by the time we got home, it was like the sun was setting. So it pretty much was like a full day out on the bike. Really, really, really fun day. That was my first time riding around Dartmoor, my first time riding in Devon. And I have to say, I'm really, really impressed with, uh, with the quality of roads around there. Five hours later now, we're riding back into town. Solid day on the bike, we've done like 95, maybe even 100 miles. I'm not too sure though because my Garmin is just, my Garmin glitched out about an hour and a half ago and I lost the whole of today's ride. I don't know if it has something to do with the weather, but the fact that it's so cold might, uh, might have caused the battery to die. I don't know. Hopefully I can borrow one of the lads' Garmin so at least I can put it on Strava. How are we feeling, Jake? <laughs> That's a lie. So that guy there, he was called Jake, and he was actually part of a uh, like a short film that was made last year with Saint Piran. Basically, like a little bit about his past and why he rides, and like his motivation to ride. It's a really really cool little like documentary short film kind of thing. It's over on Vimeo, so I'm gonna drop a link in the description. I highly recommend you go and watch it. It's a uh, it's a really really cool video. But anyway, that was the ride done, and uh, we had a shower. We got home, had a shower, and then we said our goodbyes. And then before we knew it, it was time to leave. Okay, that, that little team bonding, get together session kind of thing has, has now ended, it's come to an end. I was only there for one day or one night, sorry. Got to meet all or most of, of the guys that are riding for, for the St. Perrin team next year. It was a really fun couple of days, but the time is now 6.42. I just got myself a Cornish pasty, which apparently if you buy a Cornish pasty in Devon, it's like a really bad thing. So to all the Cornish viewers watching, I, I apologise. I'm just hungry and it looked like the best option. But anyway, I've got like a five hour journey ahead of me. Hopefully I can get home before midnight. I don't know. Either way, it's going to be a long evening. And now that brings us up to this current point. Guys, thank you for watching today's video. Uh, I'm really excited about this new journey, this new this new chapter in my cycling. I've got a lot of confidence now in the guys around me and also seeing what goes on behind the scenes of the team. I think we are in for a really, really good season of you know for 2018 i'm really excited i'm motivated and uh, determined to, to have a good year well thanks for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed if you did please drop a thumbs up i'm probably gonna go off to bed right now because i feel like i've used all my energy today and i'm borderline just about to like crash out but thanks for watching and i will see you tomorrow hopefully tomorrow depending on how well i feel but either way i will see you soon Baby.